Well, good morning, closet people. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all keeping well. Uh, getting ready for Christmas now. This is going to be a really strange kind of Christmas, I think. And, uh, you know, having grandkids and kids who all love Christmas, you know, we do a lot of wrapping of gifts. And then I thought, you know, when I was a kid, we never had wrapped gifts under the Christmas tree. Father Christmas came at night and left the gifts on the bottom of your bed, usually in a pillowcase. So we'd usually get like one big gift and then like chocolates and oranges and stuff like that and when we woke up in the morning they were there and I was thinking back to the first time I discovered that Father Christmas wasn't real it was actually my dad uh, because I had had this walkie-talkie doll I don't know if anybody out there will remember these she was called Susan and Susan got sick she had to go to the doll hospital and get fixed and I was told that Father Christmas was arranging it and he was going to bring back Susan on Christmas Eve. So sure enough my sister and I were packed off to bed and lying there in bed almost asleep and then the bedroom door opened a bit and I thought oh, hang on a minute maybe this is Father Christmas. So I kept my eyes closed and um, but just peeking out through the eyelashes and yeah sure enough it was my dad with the two pillowcases so he put the one pillowcase on the bottom of my sister's bed who was fast asleep then he got my pillowcase with Susan inside but unfortunately she was a bit big for the pillowcase and she fell out <laughs> And she was one of those dolls, I don't know if you remember them, when you tip them over on the side, they said, Mama. So I got this Mama. And, of course, I lay there stiff as a board, and I could just hear my dad saying, Oh, shit. <laughs> and off he went, and I just lay there, and I thought, I really want this fantasy to continue. I want to believe in Father Christmas, and I don't want to spoil my sister's uh, dreams. She was two years younger than me, so I said nothing for many years. But uh, it kind of did spoil it a little bit, because I did like believing in Father Christmas, but... It's just one of those things, I guess. So if you're getting the gifts ready for the kids, I know that they're going to be poking around in those parcels. So make sure that uh, they don't get inside and have a peek of what's coming. But in any event, let's hope that this Christmas is a safe one and a kind one. Have a good day.